651. The Buffalo Zoo has a new summer schedule out, and it's chock full of events for News. everyone. News Force Katie Alexander is live at the zoo this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Jordan and Brittany. Beautiful day at the zoo. As always, uh, we're standing right now by the bighorn sheep, one of those central things. But if you head towards the back, there actually is a new addition that's drawing a lot of people. Christian, what can you tell me? So uh, June 22nd, we had a new birth here. Um, or one of, we had a Japanese macaque born. And he's slowly but surely been making his appearance. His mom is keeping him pretty close. But uh, we're asking the community to help name him. So our keepers came up with a couple names and we posted a survey on our social media pages. So, And today is the very last day you yep. can vote. We'll be announcing on social media tomorrow the winning name. Um, so go now and vote, um, and hopefully uh, and tune in tomorrow. And you can find the link to that survey on the Founded on 4 section of our website, WIVB.com. Certainly an exciting time anytime there's a new animal here. Yeah, it's uh, it's springtime, summertime is always when we have our new babies around. Uh, so it's a, a great reason to come back and visit the zoo and see what's new here. Um, and the, the little guy is adorable, so go check him out. Well, and of course, taking care of all these animals is an expensive undertaking. There's an event this week that's trying to help. Yep. Uh, so Wines in the Wild, uh, it's an annual fundraiser we have here. It's been going on for over 20 years. Um, and all the money and proceeds from that fundraiser go to the care and maintenance of the, all these animals here. So tell me about the evening. What's that like for people? It's a food uh, and wine tasting event. Um, there'll also be some beers here as well. Um, it's a sampling event. So you come here, uh, everything is included with your ticket. You get to walk around the zoo, enjoy a glass of wine, enjoy some food. Um, and it's a 21 and over event. So you also, it's a little different for the parents who don't have to be here with their kids at that time. So Certainly a different perspective uh, than, say, coming m noon on a busy day. Yeah. Having this perspective, we've been here this morning. We've seen the animals waking up. This has to be a pretty exciting experience for you whenever you see it. Yeah, it's uh, definitely the animals are, they show a different light. So they're uh, like the kookaburras are making a loud <laughs> this morning. Uh, Luna was very active. So it's definitely cool. And at the evening, it's, it's also similar like that. So it's come check them out. If you haven't been to the zoo in a while, definitely a good time to do it. Again, with that summer schedule in full swing. We'll be talking more about that coming up in the next half hour over on the CW23, so stick with us. For now, reporting live, Katie Alexander, News 4. Thanks, Katie.